What's up, cigar lovers, and welcome back. Jeff with Torpedoes and Tarantulas here. And tonight, I would like to take the time, first off, before we start this cigar review, to wish all the dads out there a very happy Father's Day. Hopefully, you were heavily spoiled today. So, without further ado on that, let's get into our Father's Day special cigar here this evening. Tonight, we have the La Aroma de Cuba Mi Amor Reserva. This particular size is the Divino, which is a Toro. It's a six and a quarter inch by 52 ring gauge cigar. Uh, very, very nice cigar. You can see this nice, beautiful dark brown wrapper. Very small, minimal veins and visible seams. Really, really nice looking cigar. Beautiful cigar. Um, this particular cigar, uh, Won a 94 rating in 2013 and also won the honor of number two cigar of the year that year as well. This cigar here is made by, ironically enough with this video tonight, My Father's Cigars. So there you go. This is made at their factory in Esteli, Nicaragua. The wrapper is a San Andres Oscuro and the binder and filler are Nicaraguan. You can see it's a it's a very light box press. It's not uh, it's not really sharp. The edges are kind of rounded. I like I like a box press and a lot of cigars. They just they sit better in the hand. You know, it's I guess it's just a personal preference, whatever. But beautiful banding on this thing as well. Just real all around really nice cigar. So that's the specs. These things ten eleven dollars a stick. So you know, not too super pricey. Um, so now let's get into kind of the notes that we get on the wrapper. There's very little there. Just kind of a faint. There's a minerally kind of smell there and a faint leather on the foot. There's a rich hardwood aroma. And a little bit of cocoa, maybe a light, very light cocoa, not really strong. And on the pre light draw, there's a lot of that same stuff that's on the foot as far as the notes that the kind of a hardwood flavor and light cocoa, maybe a little bit of a, a straw or hay in there. And then there's a pepper tingle um, coming through on there. I attribute that to this uh, Oscuro wrapper. So that's kind of where we're at. The draw on this thing is ideal. Not too light, not too, I mean, not too tight, not too loose. So let's go ahead and toast this thing and we'll get on into it. As I said, wish all of you guys out there a happy Father's Day. Hopefully you had a pretty awesome Father's Day. Again, I want to apologize for kind of my slowdown on content with the cigar reviews uh, just times have been tight it's it's a property tax season I'm trying to get that stuff paid off and then I'll have a little bit of extra income to get back into doing more videos buying more cigars getting more tarantulas and all those things to uh, kind of help out my channels so I just want to thank you guys for your patience and for your views and all that good stuff during this time and looks like we've got guy toasted, so let's get into this thing and see what we've got. Right off the bat, very rich and dark. There's some of that pepper that I was speaking of. A lot of rich flavors going on there that I just that's gonna take a couple of draws I can't quite put my finger on exactly what I'm getting there's a roastedness rich earth 
a lot of earthy notes, and like I said, really rich. I'm going to get into this thing and kind of narrow those flavors down a little bit, and then we'll get back here in just a little bit. All right, here we are back, La Roma de Cuba, Mi Amor Reserva. Uh, beautiful performance so far, beautiful construction. Not burning razor sharp, but I haven't really had to touch it up. As you can see, the ash has already dropped once. It never flaked or flowered. It just dropped off at about an inch. So um, there's that. That's a nice smoke output. Draw is still flawless. Uh, the the core of this thing is rich, earthy, and peppery. Uh, that's the best I can say on that. To fine tune those flavors a little bit, that pepper is more of a black pepper flavor than the tingle. The tingle was there for a little while and it has kind of just faded out. It's more of a peppery flavor along with a wood smokiness and then just a, a real earthy core with a slight little bit of sweetness on the finish that is fleeting. And then that's about all I've got so far. It's a really nice stick. We'll get into it a little bit further and then see what we've got. Back once again, as you can see, it's still performing beautifully. We are now at the first band line. So I'll go ahead and pop that off and tell you guys what we've got with this cigar as I do that. Uh, not many changes, except there's a little bit of a kind of a medium roast coffee that comes in there on the finish, but it's still a lot of that real earthy, rich, uh, peppery, woody, uh, wood smokiness flavors basically it's it's very earthy and um, almost savory cigar there's very little bit of the sweetness there no strength to speak of whatsoever but it is medium uh, bodied and full flavored cigar so far so I'm really enjoying it um, it's deserving of, of a pretty high rating in my opinion so far but as you can see we're only at the halfway point so I'm going to continue to smoke this thing and get back to you here in a little bit and let you know what I think. Here we are back again at the main band point. Again, still burning really nicely. Uh, Ash is holding on pretty well. Not a whole lot of change in the flavors. This has been a pretty consistent stick all the way through. It's just earthy. Uh, a lot of that woodiness and smokiness and the pepper with a little bit of that coffee coming in on the finish. There's not really any sweetness uh, to speak of anymore. Still very little to no strength at all. Still a medium to, a medium to full body, full flavored cigar. Uh, it, these are darker, drier, earthier flavors uh, rather than your lighter, sweeter, creamier flavors. So just keep that in mind. If you like the darker flavors, then you probably enjoy this one. If you like the lighter, um, uh, sweeter cigars then maybe still clear this one so far I'm enjoying it I'm gonna take this band off get down to the nub and give you my final thought here we are guys at the nub of the La Aroma de Cuba Mi Amor Reserva the, uh, the Divino six and a half or six and a quarter by 52 ring gauge Toro cigar uh, again, no flavor uh, changes whatsoever. This has been a consistent stick throughout. Just a lot of that pepperiness, that woodiness, that smokiness, with that little bit of coffee there on the end. Again, no more um, sweetness whatsoever. No strength really to speak of. Medium to full bodied and full flavored. I really enjoyed this cigar. This is more along the lines of the flavor profiles I prefer. There's a couple of flavored notes that I that I like that weren't there, but you can't always have all of them in a cigar. To me, this is worth uh, ten or eleven dollars a stick. If you like the darker, richer, earthier uh, profiles, pick some of these up. I really enjoy it, so hopefully you'll pick some up and you will too. Again, I want to say Happy Father's Day to all of y'all, all you fellas out there, and I want to take the time again to thank you guys so much for watching this channel. Checking out my cigar reviews or my tarantula videos or whatever makes it all worthwhile for me doing this. Drop me a line in the comments. Give me a thumbs up and a like. Uh, share this video with your friends. Subscribe. Have a great night, guys. Take care. God bless you all.